Hello all, welcome to my channel Codify with Sonal. Today we are going to uh, see the practice set 2 of the practice series AWS Solution Architect Associate SAA C03. Okay, so uh, there's already one practice series on my channel which is uploaded before, yeah, which contains six parts. You can check that out, and they are also for the SAA C03 exam. So let's go ahead. So the simple rules to follow to excel your exam is you can create a group and you can divide the services and prepare individually, plan the test for each other on their weak points and have a good understanding. Before you start practicing the test, have good understanding of your services, what service does what and then try to combine the services and think. Now let's start. It's a multiple choice questions and there are no negative markings so please do select your answer even if you do not know in the exam you will not get negative marking if that if you feel that this can be right please do it so before going ahead to the actual questions we'll discuss the homework questions so i would like to give a shout out to jasper and weber who have given the correct answer with this uh, explanation so, uh, a company wishes to restrict access to their DynamoDB table to specific private source IP addresses from their VPC. What should be done to secure access to the table? So, now there are two ways of uh, endpoints in VPC. One is interface endpoint and one is gateway endpoint. So, interface endpoint is where you use, uh, they have an elastic network interface in the VPC. But when you're trying to connect through their DynamoDB or S3, it's an internal Amazon service, AWS service, right? So you can easily connect through gateway endpoint, okay, by adding an entry to the route table. So the correct answer to this is A, create a gateway VPC endpoint and add an entry to the route table, okay? Interface endpoint, as I told you, it is to be considered with ENI. DynamoDB inside VPC table is not required because you have a private um, IP addresses, private source IP addresses, that's the reason. And creating an Amazon uh, AWS uh, VPN connection to DynamoDB endpoint is not possible. So, next question, an application running on EC2 needs to uh, asynchronously invoke an AWS Lambda function to perform data processing. The services should be decoupled. Now, when you say decoupled, so out of these four services, which do you think is decoupled? What is step function? It's a workflow service. It does not match with the scenario. Message queue service, no. Config compliance service. So, the best answer is simple notification service, okay? That's the best to have with Lambda perform data processing and you can, that's the best service in this scenario. So, a new application needs, is to be published in multiple regions around the world. As I always say, mark your words, multiple regions, okay. The architect, you as an architect, needs to ensure that only two IP addresses needs to be whitelisted. The solution should intelligently route traffic for lowest program latency and provide fast regional failover so what is this definition of this is the definition of global accelerator okay so how can this be achieved as i told you it's a definition of global accelerator okay so now you search the global accelerator it's in only one point so you're sorted okay so into intelligently route traffic is the work of global accelerator and when they say you need to have only two IP addresses need to be whitelisted. So IP address whitelisting is uh, possible with network load balancer. So the correct answer is EC2, launch EC2 instances into multiple regions behind an NLB network load balancer and use AWS global accelerator. So why not others? Let's see. NLB with a static IP address, with static IP address, it's not possible to uh, whitelist two IP addresses, okay. And uh, failover routing policy is not used, why? Because you don't want primary, secondary, you don't want to get that self that, okay, once primary fails, then you go to secondary. That kind of thing is configuration. We are trying to have intelligently routing traffic that is not possible with Route 53. It is possible with global accelerator, okay, not even with cloud front, okay. So, uh, that's the reason B and D are not correct and uh, ALB is definitely 
through alb you cannot whitelist the ip addresses okay so the correct answer to this is launch ec2 instances into multiple regions behind an nlb and use global accelerator next question this question actually we have done many times but uh, this is an important question that's the reason i have added it into this series also so a company has uploaded some highly critical data to s3 bucket management are concerned about data availability and uh, require that the steps are taken to protect the data from accidental delete the data should be accessible and a user should be able to delete the data intentionally which combination of steps should a solution architect take to accomplish this so how do you protect your data using mfa delete and you enable versioning on the bucket this we have discussed many times so you can go through the previous uh, series also it is it has having a lot of good questions and lot of understanding of the services okay so next question a uh, solutions architect is creating a system that will run analytics on financial data for several hours a night five days a week so you are highlighting the reservation you need already so analysis is expected to run for the same duration and cannot be interrupted once it is started and you need for a minimum of one year so these are your key highlights so when you say key highlights you need to reserve that capacity you know how much it will run right so reserve capacity reservation is only possible on on demand capacity reservations whereas on re regional reserved on demand instance savings plans you do not have a capacity reservation only that's the reason the correct answer to this is on demand capacity reservations so coming to homework question so you can just pause the video and check this out and try this question and let me know the answer in the comment box below so if you have any questions regarding these practice series and what would you like to see on my channel please comment down in the box below i would love to read your comments and uh, i have been uh, reading some comments uh, from my previous videos which uh, gives me a boost to make more videos and uh, everyone is uh, able to understand and grasp the knowledge that i am sharing and some of you have also commented me that you were able to successfully pass your examination congratulations guys and uh, thank you so much for uh, appreciating me for my work i'll keep doing and let's codify with sonal in the next video till then stay happy and have a lovely day ahead thank you